In this tutorial series, we're going to teach you how to write a basic thesis using LaTeX. We're going to be using Share LaTeX as our LaTeX editor, but you could use whichever editor you feel most confident with. If you've never used LaTeX before, you may want to first watch our beginner's LaTeX tutorial series, which you can find on our channel. Your thesis could be the longest and most complicated document you'll ever write, which is why it's such a good idea to use LaTeX instead of a common word processor. LaTeX makes tasks that are difficult and awkward in word processors far simpler. To get started, we'll open up a blank project. When writing something like a thesis, it's worth splitting up the document into multiple tech files. It's also wise to organize the project using folders. In this example, we'll create two new folders, one for all the images used in the project and one for all the tech files making up the main body of the thesis. Now let's return to our main tech file. This is the root document and is the tech file that will draw the whole document together. The first thing we need to choose is a document class. The article class isn't designed for writing long documents like a thesis, so we'll choose the report class. We'll also change the font size by adding square brackets into the document class command and specifying 12 point. Let's also prepare the document for images by loading the graphics package. We'll also need to tell LaTeX where to look for the images using the graphics path command as we're storing them in a separate folder. Now let's fill in the title, author and date information. Notice that I'm adding the thesis title, institution name, and institution logo all into the title command. This isn't the best way to alter the title page, so we'll look at more elaborate ways of customising the title page later on in the series, but this will suffice for now. After the title page, we will need to add in an abstract, dedication, declaration, and acknowledgement section. We'll add each of these in on separate pages using unnumbered chapters. To do this, we use the chapter command and add an asterisk. After these sections, we'll add a table of contents using the table of contents command. Now for the main body of the document. In my example, I will add five chapters in, one of which will be an introduction and another will be a conclusion. However, instead of just composing these chapters in this tech file, I will create a separate tech file for each chapter in the chapters folder. We can then fill in these chapters with text, remembering to split them up into sections and subsections. Then to add these chapters into the document, we use the input command in the root document. Remember to add in chapters forward slash before the file name so that LaTeX knows where to find it. I will now add in an appendix at the end of the document. To do this, use the appendix command to tell LaTeX that what follows are appendices. We still need to declare a new chapter using the chapter command, despite having used the appendix command. Again, we'll write the appendix in a separate file and then input it. If I now compile the document, you'll see all my chapters have been added to the document and the table of contents has been automatically generated. This concludes the first part of the series. In the next video, we'll look at using the fancy header package to configure headers and we'll also use the geometry package 
to change the page layout. Please do subscribe to our channel to keep up to date.